Good morning, everybody. Danny Shea in his bathrobe because I really don't want to wake up today. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right, Friday news recap. Um, busy, busy week. And um, we had some huge news, right? Pat Robertson died. He was probably the start of this whole evangelical political party. So maybe something else will pass with him that will get away and have a separate church and state type thing. I don't think so, but let me see. What was some of the other big news that we had? Supreme Court. Wow, 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 wow. So they, um, they had a case against them, Allen versus Milligan. And it was about the Alabama redistricting map. And the Supreme Court said it was illegal, that the, it was discrimination based on race and violated the 1965 Voting Rights Act. Wow. Wow. Clarence Thomas wrote a, what was it, like 50 plus page dissent? Oh, can we please get rid of that guy? Ugh. All right. Um, speaking of getting rid of, the Republican Party, not, not, completely getting rid of it, but the House of Representatives, they're now in like deadlock because McCarthy caved to Biden. I mean, it's just so stupid. It's just, anyway. It, so now they're all up in arms. You didn't stand up to our agreement. So now that is deadlocked. But with this new Alabama case, there's how many other states are now involved? Did I write that down? I didn't. I think there's like 30 other states. Is that right? Can I? Anyway, there's other states that have these same gerrymandering lawsuits going and so will that shift the power of of the house of representatives i think that um we democrats certainly lost in new york because of gerrymandering i know in florida um so now alabama that has been shut down and I think even in California, I think we got um, a couple of Democratic seats, I think. I mean, it works both ways. However, it's been really egregious in some of the red states, in my research, for entertainment purposes only. So, um, yeah, so the cook report actually immediately after this uh, Supreme Court decision came out flipped some of their reporting. The Cook Report does a lot of um, statistics and looking into who's going to be winning what seat and things like that. So they, they immediately changed a couple of states. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> what else was in the news? Um, there was something else, something kind of, let me think. I might have to use Psychic Duck to help me out. Um, oh, the other thing, the other thing <laughs> that the house is doing, <clears throat> they're looking at the possibility that Biden took bribes <clears throat> when he was VP. 
and they're basing it on this document that Trump's DOJ, and you remember who that was? Yeah, Bill Barr. Um, at least one of them. Could have been Jeff Sessions. Oh my God, remember that guy? <sighs> what a revolving door. Yeah, let's go back to him. Hee hee. Anyway, 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 sorry. Um, anyway, Bill Barr said, no, this document's kind of BS. I wonder why he said that. Oh, yeah, because it may have come from Rudy Giuliani. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So they're investigating that again. Good use of time. I know they may come and say, hey, listen, look who's talking. Good use of time. Hanging out in your bathroom all day throwing cards. It is good use of time. Trust me. You could learn a lot. All right. Uh, what else? Um, some of the, uh, like J.D. Vance is all, all up in arms now because DeSantis used an image of Trump hugging Dr. Fauci. Fake news. And it was reportedly a, a, a fake image, AI. So now they're concerned with fake news. So one of the questions I want to ask, and let me just ask this right now, is fake news, is somebody going to, is this the beginning of the country saying we have to have truth in advertising? Let's look at that first. And then there's something else I got to talk about. I can't remember what it is. What? Hang on. Psychic Duck. Psychic Duck is going to tell me. Get out. Oh, we're going to read on that later. So, so damn goofy. So goofy. Okay. Is truth in advertising, is this Florida stunt? Boy, and Florida's having a lot of stunts, aren't they? Sending more immigrants to uh, California. I think they sent them to Sacramento. Certain parts of California are very blue. Certain parts are very red. I mean, let's not forget Nixon, Reagan. Let's not forget. So they sent him to a red, red part of the country. Not totally red, but anyway, it's a, a red part of the state. So that now there's lawsuits against that. And I think that's going to be a big one. Anyway, is this, is what... DeSantis's campaign doing manipulating images of other candidates is this going to be the start of truth in advertising for politicians I, okay I'm gonna go with politicians and then I'm gonna go with news I started watching Hannity last night. Oh my God. Uh, I just wanted to see. Don't hold it. I got people shut me off now. Is this going to be the start of it? Well, that's what we're facing right now. I mean, I may not even be talking to you for all you know. But I am. But I may not be. It could be somebody else. They could stick another image on my on my head how dare they and it's being challenged or crossed by the three of pentacles and this three of pentacles even though it's one guy working on it um it is three people coming together to working on this in traditional decks 
but I think it's going to be spearheaded by one guy. And why am I hearing Sheldon Whitehouse? Because he's like one guy that spearheads things. You know, you're looking at the dark money situation, Sheldon Whitehouse. But there's other, there's others that are like that. Beto, um, Stacey Abrams, one person making a huge difference. At the base of the reading is the Star of Hope. Let's balance this out, which is what she's doing. In the past, as it relates, it's like, it, it's, I don't want to say the hermit is shadow information, um, but certainly, certainly um, he's, he's alone in this, and it's in the past, and he's shining a light, so it's kind of, to me, it is kind of, um, you know, being alone with your own secrets a little bit, so it's kind of, it's, it's not community, for sure. Um, and he looks, he just, the image of him just looks sad, this hermit. He's not a happy hermit. Me, I'm a happy hermit, I think. At the top of the reading is the hanged man. So it may not happen right away. It may just be the start, but it is somebody taking another look at this. We need to revisit this. We need to look at it from another perspective. And then people are going to go, no, we need to speak what, however we want to speak. But it's not based on fact, which we hear in the news all the time. It doesn't matter what the facts are, which I think kind of does. Kind of. A little bit. Except on this channel. It's entertainment only. And then we have the Four of Swords. This lack of truth is harming us. This deck, it's like, um, and this is my Loschetti bow deck. This deck, this Four of Swords, is more along the lines of um, getting in touch with what really is true, listening to the intuition in the higher, the higher realm. Let's just keep going real quick because we have other stuff to go to. Wild Ride, the external forces on this, um, you know, switching faces out and stuff. It's the devil energy. It's not right. Um, hopes and Fears, let's go back to a sim. Oh, I'm sorry. Hopes and Fears is riding in as a winner. Yay! Yay, that's all they want to do. Let's win. Let's change people's sentences and words and whatever. Uh, okay, here's the shadow card. The moon. So I thought the hermit, you know, this is like, what is coming out of the water? This is, it's not making, it's not making sense. So the final outcome it, it we're still dealing with this. We should be looking at it in a different way in a different point of view, but it's right now that's not going to happen. However, it's clarified by the knight, is that knight? Yep, knight of wands coming forth with some new information, riding on strength. You don't ride on strength by manipulating the news. And then we get the sun card. So, I, you know, I wish I wish I was better at timing things, um, but people are going to go too far with this manipulation, and DeSantis is one that is starting it. So you got J.D. Vance coming out and saying, "No, no, 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 no." All right, so let's look at. Psychic Duck is going, are you going to read on what I just told you? Later. Later. What deck should I use? Pumpkin deck. Pumpkin deck. No. Okay. And this will probably be like my last political reading on this show for, for a couple of weeks because I'm going to Shasta 
and it's a no politics zone. Woo. I'm, go I'm gonna be shaking. I'm gonna have detox. Probably be so good for me. But I am uh, gonna be on Sheila's show on Sunday. So that will be the last political whatever. And then, and then just, I'll be a hermit. Just me by myself and my thoughts. Oh, scary. Just me alone with my thoughts. Ooh. Okay. Is the Supreme Court court decision, is that going to help us in 2024? Is the Supreme Court decision, and who sided with the, um, the liberal side of the bench? I think it was Roberts and Kavanaugh, I think. You know, the, that former guy just sucks up so much oxygen. There's a lot of things we should be talking about besides him. All right. Supreme Court. Is this going to, is that decision going to play a role in changing the House changing Congress to blue. Twenty twenty four. Three cards because it changes so fast. Three cards. A little unsure. There's going to be some creepy stuff coming out of the water. You know, and I shouldn't say that because a lot of stuff that comes out of the water, it isn't creepy. It isn't creepy at all. I remember um, I, was <clears throat> I was diving and I was cleaning the bottom of, of our boat when I had a boat. And so I jump in the water and I'm cleaning the bottom and I come out. And I have all these little... Um, they were like shrimp-like creatures, and I was, my suit was covered with them. Now I was in a dry suit, so no water was getting in, and uh, the guy I owned the boat with, he freaked out. Oh my God, look at you, oh. And I go, what? It's, it's nothing. So just because we don't understand it, just because we don't see it a lot, doesn't mean it's creepy or weird. But we're programmed to think that. So we have some things coming out of the water that maybe we didn't expect. Okay? It's a little crazy because the, you have these, these quadrupeds howling at the moon. It's a little crazy. So, Supreme Court, is it going to change 2024? I said I was only going to do three. We have the Emperor... It's a good sign. And we have fighting. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. So I can clearly see when I when I look at this fighting card, I can seer, clearly see that it's going to be challenged. I don't know how it can be challenged, but the Republicans are going to do whatever they can to keep fighting on this. Um but the center was the emperor, the higher authority. And it was behind two cards. One, a little unsure, a little crazy. The other one was a little fighting. But in the center was the emperor who is managing both sides. To me, when I think about that, and we took look at today's political climate, who is the calming voice besides Joe Biden? Um, who is the calming voice in Congress? To me, right now, 
It's Hakeem Jeffries. 2024, Hakeem Jeffries, three cards. What are you thinking? What are you feeling after the election in 2024? Hakeem Jeffries. Got a long way to go, but let's just see. Let's just see what I get. Three of Pentacles. Working at something. Some people say this is dark money, not in this card. Not in this deck, I mean. Um, three different sides. Three of Pentacles. One guy working. Hakeem Jeffries. Queen of Wands. No information. Is he from Queens, New York? I think he's from New York. Or is it? I don't know. He's riding in as a winner. So today's energy. Yes. Hakeem Jeffries will be a winner. And he has a really powerful um, woman just underneath him. And he's got Nancy Pelosi. Um still there advising him too so and just because it's a woman here doesn't necessarily mean it's a woman this is tarot this is in florida a man card can be for a woman what else what else what else what else uh pat robertson okay should we read on him is It was funny. I was today. I was thinking um, when I'm thinking about Shasta and thinking about how things are going to go there. And one of the messages that I got was <clears throat> really pay attention to the synchronicities in the symbols that show up around you. And um, and just pay attention to what comes into your awareness because that's probably um, the best message that you can get. It's not the words, but just symbols, imagery, things like that. My phone rings. It's, what, what did they say? It's Church of Jesus. <laughs> I went, Jesus is calling me. Pay attention. Jesus is calling me. I'm going to take over Pat Robertson's job. I'm busy. I'm going to be the president in the bathrobe. All the generals are going to have to come in bathrobes. I'm going to make all the con congressional people come in in bathrobes. It's going to be like one big toga party. You know? And you can't get all snippy because you're in a bathrobe for God's sakes. And if I'm taking over Pat Robertson's, everybody's going to be in a bathroom. That's scary. Okay. Evangelical politics. Is that fading? Six cards fast. Evangelical politics. Is that fading away in the next few years? Here and now. Six cards. Ooh. Moving on to calmer waters. Taking a look at it from another point of view, or it's being suspended. We're, we still got a long way to go. Let's just keep going with it. Tower reversed. I thought I had all my cards right side up. Tower reversed. That's the Pat Robertson dynasty dying and now we're moving forward looking at it from a different point of view giving and receiving well it's all about the money honey all about the money honey and so here's what I'm going to do in my in my evangelical church instead of giving me money you know like passing the the charity basket around, right? 
going to take money and give it to the other person sitting next to you. And then they're going to go, dang, you're cheap. No. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Here, you just take that and then you pass it along. Everybody share money. At the t is evangelicals, is that fading? At the top of the reading is the King of Swords. It feels with this card, if I tap into it, that there's going to be some kind of lawsuit. But if it goes to the Supreme Court, then what? We're not going there. Planning. Taking a look at it, seeing where things are going. They're thinking it's it's slowly fading, but I, I still see it as upside down. But yikes, that was an interesting read. Let me drop this down so you can see it, because I'm kind of surprised with that. Let me flip that card back over again. So we have moving into calmer waters. We have the hangman over it, which is a major arcana. So it's going to be a little time, a little suspension, but they're looking at it from another point of view. You have a major arcana as this whole thing is, is resting in, is marinating in, is stewing in the tower energy reversed, which is we've already seen the destruction that can happen. We are now moving forward. Giving and receiving, still got a way to go with this King of Swords energy. I mean, in this, this is almost like a major because you've got your court cards, which are huge energy. Not as big as majors, but huge energy. And it's like we've got to, we've got to sever some of this toxicity that's going on. But we're not there yet. In the near future. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. What else? There's only one thing else to read on. There's a lot of to read on. There's a lot more to read on. So, witch hunt. Witch hunt? Well, which one? Is that what I just said? Or witch hunt? Which, 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 which hunt? Yikes. Okay. So, Jack Smith, the, the indictment is still sealed. So, with, with Trump, we really have to be careful jumping into things. So, the news broke when I was reading with Scott last night. And personally, Although sometimes I really want to, I don't want to jump on a news story and start reading on it right away. Um, I kind of want to get more information. Certainly I can. I can read on things that I have nothing, that I know nothing about, which is pretty much everything. But with this, I don't want to read on a news story that's false because there's so much AI-generated news story. I'll be like Ron DeSantis without the go-go boots and putting on fake imagery on a news story. So I don't want to do that. So that's why I sit back uh, a couple, you know, a, a day now, I don't know what's going to happen when the verdict comes out. Uh, I, I, think, I think I may jump on somebody's channel, if not mine. Um, let me start drinking again. Just a toast, just a woohoo. Um, so, Trump. One of the things that I asked on Scott's show, I said, what about that judge down in Florida, Eileen Cannon? Is, is she going to be part of this? ABC News today, and again, may or may not be true, 
said she is gonna, it's gonna be in her district. I go, well, that's an ass show. Then I think, okay, well, then it's also gonna go up into DC. Okay, so, and for the people who are really good and don't watch news, Trump got indicted with seven counts for his handling, mishandling of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. So they're doing this down in Florida. There's two judges that may or may not be assigned to the case. Uh, I'm not sure yet because it just came out. One of them mentioned Eileen Cannon. The other one was the magistrate that um, he, he was the one that actually uh, signed off on the, uh, not subpoena, um, search warrant to search Mar-a-Lago. So you got two different sides with this. The other thing I thought was kind of curious, um, reportedly Trump, after he found out, besides getting on his whatever feed, um, ranting and raving about witch hunts and Biden and blah, 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 was, um, who did he meet with? Attorneys or advisors? Political advisors. He met with political advisors. He's so screwed. And before I got on, I just heard that um, he's getting new lawyers for this case. Of course, I don't have enough time. These lawyers just came on board. So can we delay it a little bit? He's always, you know, he's... forever about him, but as I cut the cards, we could just leave it like that. Lady Justice. Should I just leave it? Should I go into a little bit more? Should I just rant? Wah, 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 wah. Psychic Duck, you want to chime in on what you think uh, Donald Trump's chances are of beating this. Oh, you remember Lurch in in the Adams family, and he would just kind of shake his head and. Oh. That's what Psychic Duck just told me. Oh. It's not going to go well for him. All right, let's look. Because when I was reading this, when I was reading with Scott yesterday, I said, is Eileen Cannon going to be involved? And um, he said no. And somebody else said no, different district who is in the chat. And then I read that she may be. So I'm going to read on, is Eileen Cannon? going to be involved in these document cases. And I heard from ABC News that she would be um, giving him his sentence. Slap on the wrist. I was going to read on something the other day about this guy got a speeding ticket and I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but he had to pay $160,000 for speeding. And this place that he got caught, it was, it was in Europe somewhere. I think it was Finland, I think, I'm not sure. Um, but he had been caught speeding before, but their fines are based on their ability to pay. Oh my gosh, it actually hurt this guy. Trump gets fined $2 million for cheating the government out of hundreds of millions of dollars. It meant nothing to him. He's already fundraising off of this, by the way. And so is the Republican Party. 
and and Stef is it Stefanik? She goes, all this money is going to go to Trump's defense fund. Why? He's got enough money. Didn't he say that? I got enough money. I don't need it. But yet, most of it's going to go to the Republicans. And the good thing is now you, we have this Republican Party that's that's getting ready to put forth a new candidate. And you've got Chris Christie. He's not holding back. Pence is being Pence. He'll say something stupid um, and mealy mouth and wishy-washy. And then you have Asa Hutchinson. He's not that fond of. DeSantis is going after Trump, but he's still going to be mealy mouthy too. So just my opinion. Personally, I like a man in white go-go boots. Okay. Eileen Cannon. Are you going to be handling this case? Are you going to be overseeing the sentencing of this case? If it gets there. You're going to be overseeing. Uh-oh. I put all these cards right side up. I messed them up last night. I mean, they were a mess. She's going to be overseeing. I think she is. I'm going to keep going with this. I think she is. God dang it. Queen of Cups. Queen of what? Out in the cold. Okay, I may need to re-ask this question as I drop this down. Eileen Cannon, are you going to be overseeing? Let me drop the table down a little bit. That's so cool. I like my table. How it spins like that. So, Eileen Cannon, are you going to be overseeing this? So, we have the Knight of Wands. And again, these can be male or female cards. Um, the Knight of Wands, bringing information in on truth, being covered by the Empress. So I'm trying to figure out where Eileen is. I think she is this. We have the DOJ bringing in truth on strength, being covered by this Empress. And again, with the Empress, a lot of people will suggest Russian influences, Russian money, and I certainly am in this spread right here. At the base of the reading, I got the big stick upside down, bam, bam. So the information that should be coming forth is upside down. It's not going to be flowing like it should because of this Empress card. In the past is the Knight of Pentacles, slow moving knight, which is which is interesting because the sorry, the um uh, I think that this is gonna move relatively quickly. I think Jack Smith is on top of this enough that he knows all the tricks that are going to be played. When you go take your car, well, when I go take my car and it needs work, I'll go, I can do it. I can fix this. Digression. I can fix this. I know how to do it. It's just a little oil change. No worries. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to do it. I go, oh, I don't have the right tool, but this is close enough. It'll work. Oops, stripped out a bolt. Uh-oh. Now I need to go to the pros because they know the little tricks and tips to get things done correctly. That's why you go to a pro versus coming to me for an oil change anyway. So 
don't be dropping your cars off. Hey, kitty. I think we're getting a cat. I know that'll make one person really, well, two people. One person in the, who watches really happy cat mama. Oh, my eyes are itching already. Okay, um, back to the reading. Canon. Eileen Cannon. Slow moving night. She's going to try to make this slow moving. I'm sorry. I don't even know where I went with that. I'm trying to make it slow moving, but I think Jack Smith is going to keep it moving along. He's put it in a, in a county where they're going to fast track it. At the top of the reading is justice. Right? And I pulled that before and I said, do I even need to read on this anymore? That's at the top of the reading. What's in the potential near future? The devil. This is my uh, trump card. This is being addicted to something. So Eileen Cannon being addicted to the devil, being addicted to dark money, the Federalist Society. Okay, so that's the over, that's where we are right now. In the future, where is it going to go? We have the Queen of Cups. What is going on with this? Certainly she's not that Queen of Cups energy, in my opinion. I don't know her, but whenever I read on any of her stuff, I was not getting a calming, warm feeling. So this is something, even though this is in the internal position, I think this is the internal position of the DOJ. There is some kind of calming energy. They have a little secret in that cup that they're not sharing. External position, the DOJ with the Queen of Wands, bringing forth new information. Oh, look, there's a kitty that I just talked about. All right, hopes and fears, Five of Pentacles, that this is not going to rest with Eileen Cannon, and she's going to say, yet yeah, you're, you're um, you know, we found you guilty, and so your sentence is um, life on numerous golf courses around the world. I don't see that happening. The final outcome is the Two of Cups. This is some kind of partnership. It's a balanced partnership. We have an ace of pentacles, a new beginning, re a family, bringing things together. So I'm seeing her cause a lot of chaos in the interim, in the beginning, but as far as it goes, I think she's going to be kind of, I, I think she's going to play a little teeny role if she is even there at all. So, um, all right, let's, um, Halloween deck, 44 minutes. Jack Smith. What are you doing to Mr. Pumpkinhead's world? What have you done? So let's just read on Mr. Pumpkinhead. And, and, and. I am going to be using my Halloween deck. If I didn't, I'll mess them up already. I might have messed them up already. Did I? Yeah, I did. What's the matter with me? Okay. Um, I am going to make sure they are right side up and upside down and all that stuff. So I'm going to read reversals for this. It's interesting. If I know I'm reading reversals, I get it. If I don't know, if I go, yeah, my deck is all right side up, which I normally read that way, um, just because there's enough 
um, cards in the deck that are that are um, I don't want to say negative energy but I just did um, blocked energy right not forward pause um, that you don't need to read reversal so much but I am today so um, Donald Trump when I tap into to him he is so delusional he doesn't think that this is going to get him I was watching some MSNBC and um, they were talking about how Trump's feeling that he's not going to be um, charged stems from Gerald Ford not letting Nixon be indicted. I thought that's interesting. However, is that what Trump is referring to? You can't do this to a president. It's never been done. It should have been done, but it never was done. So, Trump, what's going on in your pumpkin head brain? I see his pumpkin seeds. They're, they're just all messed up. He is so, he's not, he's just, I mean, there's no focus. Okay. Four one one. As of this moment, what are you thinking? Four one one. Oh, six of imps. This is the six of wands. Riding in as a winner. Riding in as a loser. Six of wands. Six of imps. Being challenged by his addiction to the three little pigs. His addiction to manipulating and managing these, these piggies. And is that, is that his, um, uh, I don't want to get too weird with it. <laughs> I'm reading Halloween deck for Mr. Pumpkinhead. What do you mean I don't want to get too weird with it? Anyway, him writing in as a winner is being challenged by his addiction, his trying to control everything. Um, it, 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 anyway. Who's that up there looking down at him? The little baby in the glass jar. I had an idea. Um, what's at the base of the reading? Ten of pumpkins reversed. So, uh, I, just, anyway, uh, let me just keep going. Let me just keep going with this. Because this is <sighs> Ten of Bats reversed. Okay. So you have the family money reversed, Ten of Pumpkins, Ten of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Bats, um, which is the Ten of Swords reversed. What he did is already done. At the top of the reading, you have the King of Bats reversed. So far, the only card that was right side up is the Devil card. Um, I'm feeling his legal team is upside down, but that could be Jack Smith miscalculating. Let's, I don't see it. And then... The potential near future, 
we have the hermit reversed. So the hermit, I mean, he's trying to concoct something here and it's not going to work. Whatever he's concocting is upside down. Let's keep going. Internally, what is he feeling? Oh, of course, right? The gripped, the six of pumpkins, giving and receiving. He's using this to get more money in. Externally, okay, if he was Mr. Pumpkinhead, that means he is the king of pumpkins and all his little pumpkin seed minions are out there following him. And I, I did say like the three little piggies, but I didn't want to upset piggies. The king of pumpkins is reversed. Uh-oh. Mr. Pumpkinhead is no longer the king of pumpkins. Hopes and fears that a new calming energy, the Ace of Ghosts, will come to him. And the final outcome, this whole thing, only one card is right side up, is the Six of Ghosts, and this is Six of Cups. Six of Ghosts is going back to a simpler time. That's a kind of a White House. Going back to the White House ain't going to happen. Going to the Big House, maybe. And what is this? Finally, a right side up card, a clarifier on this final outcome. He's not going back to a simpler time. You have the Seven of Bats, the Seven of Swords. This is somebody that's going in there and leaving somebody defenseless. I think, I think this is, I think Jack Smith is setting it up that he has no defense on this. I mean, I, personally, it seems like a slam dunk case. And then, um, the last clarifier card is the Seven of Ghosts reversed. This goes along with stealing the defense. There is no defense for what you did. This is Trump trying to spin his illusion delusion that he always does. That is upside down. He's still the devil. That's still right side up. But all of his other, he didn't get the magician, thank you. Um, but yeah, it's all, all, ooh. All right. Let's, um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here before I go, before I go, before I go. Um, let's just remember not get, to get caught up in the new cycle. Um, my... Republican hillbilly brother is aghast. You wouldn't think a hillbilly would say the word aghast, but he did. He's aghast at how the Democrats... Look, we just got to step back from this. Don't engage that. The Band-Aid got ripped off. And it's, ow, that's what they're dealing with. Ow. If we go back and look at the Nixon Watergate thing, there were still Republicans hanging on. We feel this, they're letting go. They are letting go. So um, using my Galactic Heritage deck, because I'm going to Shasta, I'm going to see some Galactics, I hope. What does the galactic energy, because they don't care about politics, what does the galactic energy have to say to us as we navigate these next couple of weeks? And I hope to be putting up some videos while I'm in Shasta, but 
it, it depends on cell. I know I'm going to be in a place where there is no cell for a couple of days. Um, and I will be relatively busy. I'll be really busy during, during the retreat. We got, I think this is going to be awesome, this retreat. Way more work than I thought it was, but it's going to be, I think people are going to have some good experiences. We'll see. I'm not reading on that though. Galactic energies. What do we need to focus on during these, during this this time. Huh. Spiritual sovereignty. And it's a parallel. What are we doing? What are we doing to blend in with our spiritual sides. And when we do, we get returning the favor. And sometimes, you know, these, these cards, they, um, I, they trigger certain things with me. What I saw here was eight, 82, 10 completion. Um, Staying focused on the spiritual side of things, letting that rule us, our our day to day life versus the political day to day. Well, I pulled two cards, so we get a bonus. Um, we get the cosmic midwifery, which is maybe it's the Shasta thing, letting letting new cosmic ideas formulate and come into our awareness. And of course, generosity. With generosity always is being grateful. Grateful, number one, that you're able to be generous. Some people are stingy. Spiritual sovereignty. Returning the favor. Allowing a new energy to come forth and being generous. I could dig, I could do a whole show just on that, but I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. Peace and love.